everyone this is dinesh tripathi in this video i'll help you to understand tanju application platform tanju application platform is, is a product from vmware that helps developer to accelerate the application deployment by providing the set of tools in an integrated manner it it comes with a uh, several tools bundle and i have done a uh, few blogs around it so you can take a look i'll put the links on the description but in this demo or in this video i'll help you to understand what is there in the new ui that tanju application platform provides so when you deploy tap uh, this is tap 0.4 that i have deployed and when you deploy it you will get the ui in my case it's the full profile but i think the ui is in both full and development profiles in this one i have not integrated any uh, identity management system so i'm logging in as a guest user and first time when you put the url you will see this screen once you click on enter you will see something like this you may not have any of these components that you are seeing here in easily and uh, these are the one that i have already imported so you are seeing so it's a still very simple ui uh, but i think it's good enough for a developer to go ahead uh, work on their application and even for operations team to look at the application life view and other things right so there are some of these basic options the first one is home and here uh, we have several selections right component domain groups these are the different concepts within tap and that is something uh, i'll put the document link that you can take a look at it but what happens is uh, here we have an option register entity and when you have an application basically uh, there is a component dot yaml file and that is something uh, component info uh, catalog info dot yaml file sorry and uh, this is something i have on my own github repo so once you put let's say for example this and you say analyze it's actually going to understand what are the things that you have in that application and once you say import actually it go ahead and import these component right so when you go to the home basically you should see it here right uh, then uh, you can basically start it and this is the application so this one tanju java web app this one i have deployed and this is running on my uh, this is running on my tanju application platform running on an eks cluster and once i click on this then we see some of these basic options right overview uh, we we have uh, where where is the source code for this right so that you can see here it's pointing out to the github do we have any dependencies or not and do we have any runtime dependencies and this is where it is actually going to show you the running application so tanju java web app this is the workload and within this workload as you can see knative configuration knative revision and this one is is running right now so this is the deployment this is the replica set and eventually this is the pod or you can just click on this it gives a better view so you can see here you can also look at the yaml file so this is the yaml file right and uh, then 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 you can see other details right so you you can look at the knative revision so i have done uh, several revision for that particular application so 0 1 0 2 and 0 3 that you are seeing here 0 3 is currently running 1 and 2 they have been completed and you can also see the url of the application so tab basically helps developer to abstract the complexity of building the application by creating the container image deploying it all that and they have to just worry about business logic so in this particular uh, deployment i have a source code on my github and then i have basically deployed it on tap and this is my knative uh, service you can also look at you if you go ahead and click on this pod you will see some of these uh, hierarchies but you can also look at the live view application live view 
right now i have not explored uh, basically exposed a lot of matrix here so you are seeing it's it's not able to uh, get the matrix but once it is there in the application then basically this can be seen and i'll also explore more about uh, app life view and then help you to understand we have several labels that is uh, attached to this particular application that is deployed so and now when i go to the doc you can see here different document that is for the application so the next option here is create and what has happened is in the earlier version of tap uh, beta 3 beta 2 we had an accelerator concept and this was a separate ui but now this accelerator is integrated as a part of tap so we are seeing accelerators here these are the default accelerators uh, that can be used you can have your own accelerator obviously uh, now if you want to create a scaffold based on some of these accelerators for example tanju java web app so if i go ahead and choose this and uh, this is the the name this is the prefix for the image where the image is going to reside after the application is built we can also explore this what is getting generated so for example uh, we have a tilt file for deploying this we have catalog info so this file is basically used to uh, bring this on on the tap ui and then obviously this java files like pom and other source code uh, file that we have here right so if i close this and if i go ahead and say next it says create and then what it does it basically generate a gif file this gif file can be downloaded i have done this several times so this gif file can be downloaded and once you extract this gif file you can basically place this gif file in in a github so in my case i have already placed this and maybe uh, let me show you here so under these repositories i have a tanju app a basically repo and here i have one but the one that i wanted to show you is tanju java web app so after that gif folder is extracted i have kept all the files here and after that what we need to do is we need to deploy that application on a tanju application platform and that's very simple and straightforward so what you need to do is basically you can uh, look at you can look at the workload yaml file that's getting generated uh, that's part of the gif file that you can see here and you can explore this uh, very simple java application it, not, it does nothing it just print this greeting message and uh, then you can deploy this so for deploying this you can go ahead and uh, do the tanju uh, workload or basically we can just deploy this workload yaml file so basically there is a tanju command and that we can just execute uh, to deploy that but what i wanted to show you once you deploy that application and once you register that entity or that particular application here the one that i have done already then you can look at whole lot of those application related detail here and this is very very helpful for developers and even for operators to understand the application status so we also have a setting option it's still very uh, simple and straight forward we can choose the theme here light or dark or auto we can say uh, we have authentication provider i haven't explored a lot here right now it's showing nothing but i will try and see what can be done and then i'll let you know so this is about the tanju application platform ui walk through it looks very simple straight forward uh, hopefully it will help you to uh, navigate to this thank you so much